everyone, today we're going to be talking about the Paella Peperomiores. Okay, coming up. This plant originally comes from China and it naturally grows at the base of the Himalayan mountains. The leaves are really interesting because they are circular. And this is a feature that made this plant really popular in the last couple of years. Which takes me to the many common names that this plant has, including Chinese money plant, coin plant because the leaves look like coins, pancake plant, and UFO plant because the leaves can also look like UFOs. This plant can grow up to 12 inches tall and throughout her life it will provide her with the conditions that she needs. She will have many baby plants that we can then propagate and give to friends. So this plant is perfect to share as well. Okay, now let me tell you how you can keep this plant very happy at your house. Average household temperatures will be perfect for this plant. And this is also the case with humidity. Just avoid placing her where the air will be too dry. For example, very close to a heating vent. We have ours close to a humidifier and the humidity there is about 50% and she seems to be happy there. This plant will thrive in medium to bright light. I can tell you it really likes bright light conditions just not direct light because this can burn the delicate small leaves, especially the new leaves. Here in Berlin we don't have so much sunlight in the winter. So I brought this one close to a grow light and she seems to be very happy there. One thing that I can show you is that as you can see this plant is growing towards one side. This is because I forgot to turn her and they grow really quickly and towards the light. So I would strongly recommend that you turn the plant every week or so just to make sure that you have balanced growth. A sign that your paella is not getting enough light is if you see that they're growing leggy and the leaves are starting to be really small. This is a very good sign that your paella is lacking light. So what I would recommend is that you move her to a brighter space and she will be happy there. The Paella Peperomiotis will be happy with moderate watering. So we want to allow the soil to almost dry completely in between waterings. Not completely, but almost completely. What I recommend is that you always check the soil with your finger every week or so, just to make sure that the soil is drying out and then you water. I water my Paella with the bottom watering method. And I love this method because it really helps me keep the soil moist but not wet. Once I am done watering, I lift the pot and let the excess water dry down through the drainage holes and this is very helpful to prevent overwatering. As I said our paella wants the soil to be moist but not wet so what I would recommend for potting mix is one that is well drained. I use the all-purpose houseplant potting mix that I make at home and this one has a coconut pour base and then I add perlite or pumice for drainage and worm castings for nutrition. And she seems to be very happy there because I know that the soil is well drained but it also retains moisture for the roots. In terms of fertilizer, we only want to fertilize our paella during the growing season, which is the spring and the summer. And if you're a plant beginner, I always recommend that you start with an organic fertilizer. This is because organic fertilizers are way less concentrated than synthetic fertilizers, and this helps us prevent over fertilizing our plant. Of course, always read the instructions on the bottle and always check your plant just to make sure that she's happy with the fertilizer that you're providing. The good news about this plant is that it's not toxic for dogs or cats and it's also not toxic for humans. So this plant is safe to be around your babies and around your pets. I have three extra tips for you about this plant. The first one is to repeat because it's very important. If you see that your plant is growing really leggy and small leaves, this is a very good sign that she is missing sunlight. So move her to a more bright spot and she will be happy there. Number two, if the leaves in your paella are droopy, this happens because of various reasons. The most common include, number one, your plant may be thirsty. So check the soil and if it feels really dry, just water her and and she will come right up. Related to this, if you have had your paella for a long time, the soil may be too compressed around the roots. So also check for this because if the soil is very compressed, the water cannot get to the roots. So your paella may still be very thirsty even if you water her. So check the soil and if you feel that it is very compressed, I would recommend that you repot your plant with new soil so it is more fluffy and soft for the roots. Another reason for droopy leaves with your paella is that they're not receiving enough light. This is especially true when you see leggy growth. So 
So this is the case, move your paella to a brighter spot and observe how she reacts. The third tip is related to white small dots underneath the leaves. Not to worry, generally these are pores on the leaves and the white dots is actually mineral residue from the water evaporating up. This is not a big problem, but if you want to get rid of it, you can always clean your leaves gently. Okay everybody, do you have any other tips for this plant? Make sure to comment below, I can assure you the whole community will appreciate it. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, ciao! <laughs>